I think we can all agree that CapCut is a very popular tool for creating short form content. I've used it a lot in the past and I still use it for certain projects when I need a quick edit here or there. But when it comes to creating clips from longer content that I already have, using CapCut becomes a time consuming process. In this video, I'm going to show you what that process looks like, but then I'm going to show you a much faster, less painful way to clip your long form YouTube videos, podcast episodes, and other longer form content. Now, usually the first step here involves finding the best parts of the podcast to clip. And this is probably one of the most time consuming and hardest parts of the whole process. This likely involves listening back through the entire hour long episode, marking down and finding the best clips that we want to pull from this episode. Now, if we were smart and with some clever prompting, we might be able to take the transcript from this episode and put it into ChatGPT and have ChatGPT extract out some of the most interesting points from the episode. But prompting ChatGPT to do this can be pretty tricky and the results can be pretty hit or miss, meaning we're right back to handling it the old fashioned way. You'll come into the timeline, click where you want that split to be, and then click split. Or you can click control B. And then you come to where you want that clip to end, and we'll say right here, and we'll add another split. Then all you have to do is delete the front and the back of that clip. And now you're left with just the clip that you're going to use for social media. Now this is where things can get a little tricky with CapCut because we're looking at a horizontal split screen video. But if we're posting this on social media, there's a good chance that we're going to want this to be in a vertical format. So what we're going to have to do is come in here and change the ratio of this video to a 9 by 16. We can come in here and we can split this clip up and adjust the speaker throughout the entire clip. It involves coming to that clip itself, resizing this, moving it over, making sure that our subject is in view, and then coming to the next clip, and we're going to have to do the same exact thing, except maybe we want the other person in view. We come through, and now we're going to put them in the frame. I'm going to go through and do this for all of the cut splits that we have. And then you might want to view where you can actually see both the host and the guest on the same screen in more of a, a vertical split format. And to do that, so now we're going to come to this clip. We're going to right-click copy and then we're going to right click and paste and we're going to match this up with that clip that we have so now for this top clip maybe we want the host on top so i'm going to have to resize this so that we get our full frame of our guests and you can see this is kind of a kind of a tedious process to get it just right okay so we have our host on top and then we're going to have to go grab this bottom clip here we got to resize this one and even then it's still it's kind of got an awkward framing to it Okay, so that looks pretty decent. And then we have to go in and do this for every single instance that we want a change in the scene itself. But we're usually not done there because social media is a fast moving platform. So that means we're likely going to have to cut some of the fluff out of this content as well. So we can see in this section here, there's a significant amount of silence in the clip. So we're likely going to want to cut that out as well. So we're going to have to split. We're going to split again and cut because this is social media. We want this to be fast. So we need to cut out all of these silences one by one. And we could probably clean this up even more. But for the sake of this video, you get the idea. Now, if you want any B-roll or additional content to spice up your video, you're likely going to have to source that from another stock library somewhere on the web. I like Pexels for something like this, but again, it's a time-consuming process having to think of what we want that clip to be and then just hope that that stock library has the clip that we're looking for. Then lastly, we want to add captions, which is probably the easiest part of this entire process in CapCut. All you have to do is come up and click Text, choose Auto Captions here and then click Generate. Now CapCut's gonna automatically go through, transcribe the entire clip that we have here, and then create captions for it. They even have a ton of different animations and styles that you just click to apply. And they do have some pretty awesome styles to pick from. The real bummer here is this used to be a free feature. Now you only get five uses of this auto-generate captions feature, and I'm pretty sure that's per month. Then all of the cool styles and animations that we have over here also require a pro membership to actually use. So not really ideal if you're planning to create a lot of clips from your content. So that's CapCut. It works, it's a great program, and it does what you'd expect it to do from a video editor. But it takes much more time than I'd like to spend on it. Now let's see how we do the same exact thing using a tool that's meant to create clips from long form content. Minbo. And we're going to upload a podcast episode that we have on YouTube. We're going to import it using the YouTube link. We click import. Then we have several different options to choose from, but we want to clip this video to shorts. And then here we have several different options on what we want the AI to do with the clips that it creates. So we can have magic frame where we auto frame the camera on the speakers, magic emojis that add that automatically add emojis into the video. We have magic media to automatically add B-roll. Normally I would check this on, but I'm going to leave this off and I'm going to show you why in just a second. Next we have magic cut to remove filler words. We'll turn that on. Magic emphasis to add video effects. Yes, we want that. Um, we're going to do the camera frames with pops and zooms, but we're going to leave the emphasized words off for now. 
Then we can add sound effects in here if we want, and we can add music. But I think this is good for right now. So we'll click Create Shorts. And now Minvo pulled 26 clips from that hour-long episode. So no longer do we have that painstaking process of listening back through the entire episode just to find the clips we want to pull. Minvo's taking care of that for us. Now if we open this up in the editor, we can see that Minvo went through and it actually cut out a bunch of filler words that we have in here. Minvo's actually changing scenes for us, and we even have the captions that Minvo automatically threw onto the video itself. The captions themselves are very easy to edit, and we can actually select from different presets that we have here. Maybe we want a Hormozy float or a Hormozy rotate, or we want something that's just a simple box with text in it. And just like that, the captions are switched. Then we can easily add animations to these captions by clicking a pop-in or a fade-in effect, and we can even adjust the color of the text as well. So remember when I was talking about having to go to Pexels or some other stock library to get our B-roll content? Now we don't have to do that because AI is going to fill in the missing pieces for us. So if we click Magic Edits in the top here and click on Magic Media, click Activate, we can use AI-generated images, and we're going to click Activate. Now what Mimbo is going to do is going to take the context of what is being said on the screen and it is going to generate AI images from that. So here we have one of the AI generated images that Minvo created and it's talking about keeping attention and you have this guy on stage like demanding all of the attention. So I think that that fits really well for the context of the video. And now here's another AI generated image where in the video they're talking about expanding your reach and getting your message out as far as possible. And here we have someone on stage that is speaking in front of a crowd, clearly getting their message out. I, I just think that the AI generated content that Minvo creates is so much better and much more unique than what you're going to get from other stock library. And like I mentioned earlier, sometimes coming up with what that B-roll needs to be is difficult. It's hard to think of what could portray the message visually as opposed to just having a talking head on the screen. So having AI to help us with this is a huge bonus. Now, obviously, we're only just scratching the surface of what's possible with Minvo and how you can use it to elevate your content in a much faster fashion than a traditional editor like something like CapCut. We have a ton of different videos on the channel, and I'll put a link to a playlist down in the description that you should check out if you're interested in learning more and using Minvo to edit your content. But now you can see Minvo takes what would be an otherwise painstaking process with a platform like CapCut or even more professional platforms like Premiere Pro and makes it so much simpler and quicker to use. So if you're looking for a faster way to create shorts, Minvo might be worth checking out. So I'll put a link to Minvo down in the description of this video if you're interested in trying it out for free. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know in the comments if you tried Minvo yourself.